Ethan Boron really showed us what elemental damage do in the heat of the battle. He literally was on demon time when he was slashing up the pacifistas. Like, he made them short circuit because of his frozen techniques. If this is what the other Gorosei can do, imagine what they can do on a team effort, bro. Like, don't get me wrong. Ethan Burrow looks strong. His design is not too good for me. I have my own opinion of all these five girls say, and to be honest, bro, I'm not feeling none of them at, except for um, J. Garcia Saturn because of his, his image design wise. All I'm saying is I'm not feeling the rest of their designs. J. Garcia Saturn is the best one yet. He could have been shown last because the other ones really sunk to me. Think about how many yokais is in the Japanese folklore. There's so many beastly yokais and Oda makes us settle for a hog. Well, the hog is okay. The bird's okay-ish. The horse, the skeleton horse, like the powers and how fast it is it's great but the character design i don't like it then you got this sandworm basic sandworm from jupiter i'm sorry but the gorosei character design is not my cup of tea i think Oda could have went harder way better and more intense more cruel more demon-ish because the way that he settled things with J. Garcia and saturn it may seem like all of them would be demon like amazing looking demonic beings and this is not it for me if i was to pick the very best design it's definitely J. Garcia saturn a lot of people People like Ethan Burrow's design, his power is crazy the way he's doing it with the pacifistas, but I'm not feeling either one of them. And maybe this is a good fight for Zoro. We see Ethan Burrow just slashing through the pacifistas, and he also has a black blade. And out of all the girls say, we see that Ethan Burrow has the most promising techniques. The way he utilized his techniques and utilized his maybe could be devil fruit. But we said before, these girls say seem like they're not human anyway of that dialogue with J. Garcia Saturday. Maybe they're not human and even older did not categorize or name their devil fruits. He just named the yonkai they appear to be. You can take it with a grain of salt, but in my opinion, if they had devil fruits, Oda would have mentioned it right here and now. Because of this is the final saga, Oda's not leaving anything out no more. And simply put, I don't think they're human. I think they're fused with demon demonic souls like the Yonkai and maybe that J. Garcia Saturn altered their genes to make it look like more appearance of a human. But once the Gorosei landed and we see what actually Boron can actually do and we see what the other Gorosei charging forward to somewhere else, we've seen that St. Marcus Mars actually crashed into the egghead dome. Now the debris was inside, not outside of the egghead dome. So that made me believe that St. Marcus Mars is inside inside the egghead dome right now and if he is inside the egghead dome his mission is to stop the broadcast wherever it's broadcasting from before they even touch down on egghead they already had a game plan set up and i promise you they're going to accomplish their game plan in egghead one thing i can't do is underestimate the girl say we know that they are powerful even luchi and zero said there are strong hockey somewhere else and it makes you want to gravitate towards it and speaking on luchi and zoro we see how zoro mid diff luchi i was on king of Lightning stream telling him like zoro pit more effort and fighting keen than he did with luchi we see that zoro actually heard what sanji saying of him being a liability and he turned the temperature all the way up and it definitely looked like zoro knocked out luchi with congress hockey attack called spotted hunt now this right here was definitely a low to mid difficulty for zoro in this match it took him forever to get it done but he definitely got it done with a piece of cake it was like somebody called him told him like hey turn up for a minute let's get out of here and he knocked luchi out with the next move now, everybody wants zoro to face against ethan boron and i think that will be the case have this match versus ethan boron and zoro we'll see how strong zoro actually is with somebody who rules the world and the gap that he needs to reach to actually beat ethan boron now i don't think zoro can actually beat ethan boron right now i don't think oda as being a storyteller should have these straw hats beat the girl say just yet and i'm still standing behind my word that the giants and the Iron Giant on Egghead are the only thing and people that can destroy the Gorosei. I feel like there are some lords surrounding the Giants actually defeating these Yonkai before. Or definitely have techniques that can defend against the Gorosei. If not the Giants, it's definitely the Iron Giant that was created during the Void Century or during the Ancient Kingdom times. I feel like what actually backs this up is beginning of this chapter. We see one of the Giants destroying one of the small battleships with a small arrow. And I in folklore, two of these yonkai other girls say actually got defeated by arrows. 
that is Isume, which is Marcus Mars, and the Boar, which is Tom and Mercury. Now, these two yonkai actually got defeated by arrows. And in this chapter, we see how strong an arrow can be coming off a bow of a giant. Now, I don't know if this is a coincidence by Oda actually drawing this panel of a giant actually taking out a battleship with his arrow, but it seemed to me like the giant's time to shine is right now because in the past, they have been withering away. We have some few successful things that's going on in this chapter. The one is that the Sunny actually successfully landed thanks to Usopp. Zoro actually defeated Luchi, seems like, and Dory and Brody actually joined the fight and saving Luffy. Now, the technique that Dory and Brody actually used was called Sun Saw. Now, I don't know their techniques is named off the head or top of the dome. Or maybe that their techniques actually is named after the sun god Nika. And maybe the giants worship Nika like a god for real. Nevertheless, they help actually Luffy from being swallowed by Shepard. Some people also commented that maybe Shepard's technique is to grow heads back like the dragon Hydra. Because I know good well that Shepard is not down and out for the count after this technique that Dory and Brogy actually use. And maybe the giants can actually withstand the girl say right now. It's definitely going to take time and effort to defend Luffy against the girl say and it's gonna take more than a giant to actually help Luffy win this battle crazy thing is that Zoro is actually hands-free Sanji is actually hands-free right now so maybe we're gonna see Luffy's commanders facing off with the girl say and Luffy may be fighting two other girls say with the help of the giants no matter what the outcome may be we're gonna see this thing broadcast within seven minutes we all can say the girl say actually achieved their mission and they're going to get your they're going to get the battle station and dr vengapong is already assassinated so at the end of the day it's definitely a win on the girl's sake because they achieve their mission and it seems like marcus mars like i said before is inside the egghead dome the only win i can say for the straw hats is that the broadcast will get out and also they made a few alliances that they need when the final war comes crazy how zoro actually skipped the step of knocking people out with conqueror's hockey and just coating his blades with conqueror's hockey without him even knowing i don't like that fact that that's happening i need zoro to learn conqueror's hockey with the burst of knocking people out that's what i want to see instead of him actually using conqueror's hockey with his blades we already know that this is conqueror's hockey that zoro is actually using to knock out luchi with the black lightning around him right who is going to teach zoro how to use conqueror's hockey like luffy uses conqueror's hockey what if luffy teaches zoro how to use it just like how he utilizes it. I do have to cut this video short because my hand is killing me. Had to really do a gun gun pistol punch in front of somebody now and, and got a boxer fracture. But I'm telling you right now, the only way that we're gonna get through this if Sanji and Zoro mastered their techniques, they can go beyond what the Gorosei are gonna show us in these chapters. And we are on a three week break after the next chapter comes out. Nevertheless, this chapter was good. I will give it a nine out of 10. I was not feeling the other Gorosei's character designs of their Yonkai. But at the same time, we got an immense power development from Zoro. Well, kind of right but believe me next chapter we're definitely going to get an amazing cliffhanger for this three week hiatus that we're going to take so what do you think the cliffhanger may be maybe we might see other girls say face off with sanji and zoro we might get something between luffy and the current girl say that he's facing right now we might get something from nodori them the giants but no matter what it is it's going to be an amazing cliffhanger i'm telling you right now next chapter is already a 10 out of 10 Without even me knowing what's going on. Thanks for watching my video. Like, comment, subscribe to get more of me and more One Piece content. Also, follow me on Twitter because I post early animations of videos I post in my videos every week when I review One Piece. Like always, love you. Love yourself. Peace.